Leo. I think February's reading is saying you're a little bit too much heart, a little bit too trusting, a little bit too soft. Which is a shame because you seem to have been through these lessons many times before. Uh, the overall energy is the King of Cups. I mean, he's a lovely king. He really is. He's a king of love. Uh, but does he get taken for a ride? Maybe. In your recent past, bottom right, we have the Knight of Wands. Bold, fearless, brave, but fast. Rushes into things. And unfortunately, in your current energy, we have... The Seven of Swords, which is more deception. More deception in your life. Um, the future energy is that of the Eight of Wands, and this is you comprehending things, getting your ducks in a row, moving rather quickly as a result of it. Um, the energy that would impact on the outcome is you going off in search of something creative, in search of love, maybe too trusting, maybe it is. Uh, what would offset the outcome is you acting, King of King of King of Wands, using your experience of the past to act. Yeah, a wise king, an entrepreneurial king, also maybe it's about enterprise. Because the outcome is the Five of Pentacles. Card of poverty or no mates. So was this deception you losing some money, you being deceived? It certainly feels that way. Now I hope you're going to stick with me because I'm a Leo. I want to find out what it's really all about. And I think we need to, don't we Leos? The overall energy is that the King of Cups, and he's a lovely king, a lovable king. He's in control of his emotions, he understands the emotions of others, in control of his conscious and subconscious. He's not a bit as big a fool for love as the Knight of Cups, but maybe he's a little bit fool for love. Maybe he's a little bit too trusting, and maybe the events that are going to transpire because you're a little bit too trusting. But you know, I also equally feel that if you are full of love, you will create love and create your own luck. So, have I got this right? I'm not sure. It runs throughout the entire reading, though. It runs throughout the entire reading. And therefore, I need to recognise that as I look at the other cards. In your past we have the energy of the Knight of Wands, an admirable knight, a brave knight, a very brave knight, a fearless knight, a knight that's very fast, maybe a little too fast. You look at him, the horse is going quickly, he's definitely brave, he's definitely fearless, but he's going into battle armed with a stick. So have you rushed into things in the past without giving enough thought to them? That's certainly the impression I'm getting. Yes. A current energy is that of the Seven of Swords. That's a card of deception. Somebody tried to get away with something. You look at it, they're turning their back, so they're not... They might not get away with it. They might have second thoughts. They've also left two swords, so they know what they're doing is wrong, and you might well catch them. Is this because you've rushed into things? I think it is. I think you've opened up a situation which can be exploited by others. Yeah. I think you've been too trusting. But as I keep saying, I think trust is a, is a wonderful thing. I just hope you're not going to be hurt again as a result. Yeah. 
But I feel you've been too trusting. Yeah. I think you do get hurt again as well, unfortunately. Oh dear, Leo. I'm a Leo, so, you know, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, what a shame. Now, in the future, you seem to have got a grip of things. You seem to know where you're going, what you want, and how to get it. And maybe you need to go through this lesson once more. I don't know. I don't know. You see, it's the eight of wands. Got your ducks in your row, moving quickly. Well, you were too quick before, you know. Um, but moving quick, knowing what you want, knowing how to get there. Everything feels aligned, which is no bad thing. Hmm. Yeah, I th it, it, is it that you keep getting these lessons from the universe? And instead of truly learning from them, you sort of overreact every time? I'm really not sure, I'm not sure. Now the energy that leads to the outcome is the Page of Cups. Creative opportunities, intuitive messages, and, and you're going out and seeking them. So it's something that's creative, something that's intuitive, that is leading to an outcome, and the outcome's not a great outcome. So are you being offered an opportunity that isn't what it seems? We don't have the Seven of Cups here. But I can't help but feel that that's, that's what it's about. Yeah. You see, you're being deceived. And do you know, Leo, I've been picking up that you're going to come into money, that you might even come into fame and fortune. Is it a double-edged sword that people spot what you've got and they attempt to exploit the situation I think it could be I think that could be it now what would change the outcome is you becoming the king of wands natural born leader entrepreneur so you doing something positive, something positive, I believe, not just for you, but for your community. You emerging as this leader, Leo. I think this is a real warning from the universe, not to just sit and watch things happen, but to make a positive change in the world. That is my candid feeling. Yeah. Gosh. Gosh, you need to act. You're being told you need to act. But the way you need to act is in a selfless way. So not react, but act. And the outcome, Leo, if you don't act, is the Five of Pentacles card of poverty, card of being out in the cold, card of having no friends. You look at the card, I, oh, it looks like a grandfather, isn't it, that's crippled, and they're walking, looks bleak, but they are in front of a chapel, and there's a beautiful stained glass window that they're going in front of. So there's always hope. And I think this, this poverty, or no mates sort of feeling, is is in your mind it's how you're reacting to things and you're being urged to create a better future in your mind not to allow your worries about losing money your worries about a changing world your worries about being betrayed to make you make you wish almost for this poverty 
You've got to think the other way, Leo. You've got to think the other way, not allow yourself to get depressed by what's happening. I think we need some clarity on this, but this is how it's shaping up for me, certainly at the moment. Clarity on this Five of Pentacles. The first card we get is the Queen of Cups, a nurturing, caring type of person. Uh, we then have the King of Swords, somebody that has the information, somebody that understands things. And finally we have the Knight of Cups, something of a fool for love. Yeah. Gosh. Gosh. Mm, let's look at each individually. Yeah, the first card of clarity is this Queen of Cups, the nurturing, the caring, very caring, empathetic person, which I don't know about you, but I certainly am an empath. And I'm a Leo. And I think the fact that you care about others and see what ha is happening to others leads to a degree of pessimism. And this pessimism leads to your own feeling of poverty and helplessness. You know, over the years, we have been victims of so many do I want to call them frauds? We've been victims of so many deceptions. And it's this deception, this seven of swords, that seems to catapult you into this current depression that you're feeling. And I, I think it's because you're an empath. You can feel what's going on with others and you it upsets you. And I think this message is that you need to get a little bit harder. That's not hard in the physical sense, it's hard in the emotional sense, Leo. The next card of clarity is the King of Swords. Deep thinker, very deep thinker, intellectual. So you've seen it all before. Uh, but, you know, I think this is a warning that you're overthinking. What you're doing is you're looking at things that are happening to you and you're extrapolating them onto others. And in doing so, you're creating a world that isn't particularly happy. You're creating a world in which fraud and deception are normal. Even though you're not a part of it, you're the exact opposite, but because you're worried about it. That's the universe that you are generating. So you need to stop thinking and you need to start acting. Yes, being led by the heart. But you see, your problem is that you've been led by the heart into thinking, rather than led by the heart into doing something. And it's as if to echo that, we now have the Knight of Cups. I mean, he's a lovable person. <coughs> Absolutely lovable. Everybody loves him and he loves everybody else. Uh, but what I think this is saying is love an alone is not enough to resolve the problems that are around in February. They may be much deeper problems that are around for a long time. Problems that aren't only peculiar to you, but problems in the world, maybe. Uh, but if you're just a fool for love, if you just preach love and don't act, uh, then your visions of what will happen to you, and if we Project that onto the world, this dystopian world that you're concerned about will become the reality. So you're being called on by the universe to act. Act from the heart, yes. 
but to act, not think from the heart. Gosh, Leo, this February reading has taken a twist that I didn't expect. I mean, it could be stuff that's entirely personal to you, but um, like so many readings around now, world events seem to crop into it. You're a bit impulsive, Leo. You're brave. You're fearless, that's for sure. Uh, but you're a bit impulsive. Having said that, it's all about you needing to act. <laughs> and, you know, I, I think you've learned from the past not to be impulsive. But maybe at times you need to be. You need to be a bit more impulsive. You are somebody that, you know, is deeply empathetic. Somebody that really cares. And yet again in February, somebody's going to deceive you. It could be about money. It might not actually be about money. When I, I, I first thought you were going to be deceived about money, but I'm not sure it is. But it's yet another deception for you. And it's a deception that drains your resolve. Or stymies you, I think, is more likely. <clears throat> and it's because you've sort of gone off in search of what's happening to you, Maybe what's happening to life in general, the world in general. And the more you found out, the more depressed it's made you. You may know that I went back to Shrewsbury recently to uh, my mother's who was dying. Well, she died. And <coughs> I bumped into somebody I'd not seen in 30 odd years. And he's very depressed and he watches these sea theories on this platform and he's obsessed with the bad things that are going on in the world. And I had to try and say to him, yes, so much of what you're saying is right. Uh, but if we focus on the wrongs in society, we're actually creating that universe ourselves. And what we need to do is focus on the good things. And I think you get trapped in that in February, Leo. And what you're being urged to do is, yes, be led by your heart. But don't just keep thinking. Do something. Do something. Because of the universe you're creating for yourself, you know, if it's entirely personal, the universe you're creating for yourself is one of poverty and no friends. Uh, it's a mindset. And you need to break out of that mindset. Do something positive, something entrepreneurial even. For you, for your family, for the community. Do things that are meaningful to you because of what you can see in the broader world has no meaning. And there is a chance you are going to grab the bull by the horns. And if you do, you will have such direction and vigour It'll be wonderful. And you need to do it by ignoring everything that's going on around you. Everything that seems bad that's going on around you. You may know that in Indonesia we've had to have digital IDs. ATMs are disappearing left, right and centre. I found it very difficult to get back to the UK to visit my mother. Um... When I got there, I could hardly spend money. Um, you know, it, if we dwell on these dystop... Oh, the UK, my UK bank account is being closed for me. If we dwell on these things and extrapolate them, what does this mean? Is there a wider meaning to it? Then it does make us very depressed. And the way out of that is to do something positive. Do something positive for you, for your family, for those around you, for your community. And that's the way out of how you're feeling, Leo. God bless you all. God bless you.